Okay, this is problem number 35, and this concerns uh, interest in a savings account, which is compounded monthly. And the way the problem reads, suppose $5,000 is deposited in a savings account that pays 12% annual interest compounded monthly. That's a good interest rate, 12%. That's a lot. That's a lot higher than what we get now. What is the monthly interest rate on this account? That's A. B. Assuming no withdrawals are made, how much money will be in the account after five years? And C. What is the annual yield on the account? So let's start with A. What is the monthly interest rate? Well, the monthly interest rate is just the annual rate divided by 12. Because when you compound it monthly, you, you add the interest 12 times, but each time you do it, you only do it at 1 12th of whatever the so-called annual number is. So that's 1 12 percent divided by 12 is 1 percent. So the annual, uh, so the monthly interest rate would be 1 percent. Now B, assuming no withdrawals are made, how much money will be in the account for five years? Five years is 5 times 12 or 60 months. So one way to get that is to take the $5,000 now you multiply it by 1.01 .01 raised to the 60th power, because that's 1%, 1.01, or increasing something by 1% 60 times. So I'm just going to put this into my calculator and see what I get. Comes out to 1.8. Uh, let's see. I'll just call this uh, M. No, nope, I'll call that 1.8167, uh, I guess. Basically, you've got 80% gain uh, with that type of interest rate after five years. And if I multiply that by 5,000, I get 9,083 and 48 cents. Now I kept that number in my calculator and I multiplied it by 5,000 just to make sure I got it accurate to the correct penny. Calculators nowadays they have so many decimal places inside of them that you don't normally have to worry about the accuracy of the calculator. So there we go, that's B, 9,083 dollars. C, what is the annual yield on this account? In other words, what, how much of a percent increase will you get in 12 months? Which is kind of funny because they say right off the bat that it's got 12% annual interest. Why wouldn't the annual yield be 12%? But that 12% annual interest really doesn't mean that much when they compound it monthly. It's, it's, it's really the monthly interest rate that's more important. So in order to get the annual yield, or what would be the effective annual interest, you have to take that 1%, multiply it by itself 12 times. So I'm going to say, I'm going to call it, I don't know if that's called the annual percentage something or other, or the effective yield. There might be a name for that on these accounts. But it's, in our case, we're just going to take 1.01, and we're just going to raise it to the 12th power. Now you're going to get a number, it's going to be close to 12%, but it should be a little bit more. 1.01 y dx, 12. Sure enough, it comes out to 1.1268. In other words, it's closer to 13%. Uh, it's like you get an extra two-thirds of a percent, roughly, um, by this so-called compounding monthly. So the effective annual yield is, is really 12.7 percent, let's say. And that's the number they're going to advertise, because that number is bigger, so they'll advertise that. The bank account will advertise that. Okay? Okay, so that's fine for that problem.